name is Asaf Arel, I'm the Chief Scientist and Co-Founder of Karamba Security. Hi, and I'm Guy Sagi, Karamba Security CTO. We are here to uh, introduce the subject of uh, threat analysis and risk assessment called uh, TAWA. TAWA is a major process in your rich cyber security program. During the TAWA process, we map each of the threats to two scores. One is the impact from low to high, and the one is likelihood from low to high. The threats who get the score above this line in this area are the threats we want to understand and mitigate during our design and development process. The DAO process contains four phases. In step one, we will list all the relevant assets of the software. Any resource of value is of interest, data types, communication channels, functionality. In the second step, we will look at threats and their potential impact. And this is where the product manager can fully understand the risks and their impact on its device. For each asset, we will list all the potential threats. For each such pot potential threat, such as uh, tampering or spoofing, we are able to provide a score that represents the potential impact. Now we know what we should be worrying about. In the third step, we analyze the likelihood of each threat. In order to compute the score of each threat, we analyze each of the threat based on various parameters. There are a few part factors to consider, and again, experienced cybersecurity will know how to rank them, how long it will take to exploit this threat, how experienced a hacker should be, do I need a specific equipment or a time opportunity to try and hack. We factor all these parameters to a final score. Using the, the previous three steps, we now can get to the four steps, the metrics. We can now put on the metrics all the score for each threat, as we explained, according to the impact and according to the likelihood. As the slide show in the example, this is a simple example of gateway analysis. You can see on the left side all the threats and on the right the score and the metrics. Again, remember, the threat above the black line are the one we need to consider and mitigate in our design and development process. Now we can complete the process with uh, a list of mitigations and how they reduce the um, uh, risk levels of the entire system. Assuming we have two threats in the red area, choosing the right mitigation can reduce the risk uh, levels and bring them into the green. For the tower process, we are only use the requirement and design documents. The process usually takes around two weeks. Thank you for watching. We would like to invite you to our product security webinars. For more details, please visit our website. Bye bye.